to another episode of the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. Thank you for joining us once again. Today we are reviewing the film Almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas, Kev. Tis the Yuletide season, Ant. Yes, I don't know what Yuletide means, but... Uh, <laughs> Nobody does. It uh, sounds pretty good. We say it every year, so we'll roll with it. Uh, this film is rated PG-13, has a runtime of 1 hour and 51 minutes. Uh, in, in it, we have a family that's gathering for the first Christmas since the loss of the matriarch of the family. This film was directed by David E. Talbert, mm -hmm. who brought us the fairly atrocious first Sunday. Y'all, you throwing shots already. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. As well as Baggage Claim. The film stars Danny Glover, uh, Monique. Yes. Thank God for second chances. Yeah, she appears from the Land of the Dead, the Blacklisted, <laughs> uh, Kimberly Ooh. Elise, and a host of other ladies and gentlemen who I just don't have the time to recount for you right now. All right. What do you say we take a look at the trailer? Let's do it. Hey, Walter. Is the family coming for Christmas? Every single one of them. Who is this white man? I figured y'all be hungry from traveling, so I put a little something together for y'all. Milk tea with tapioca balls. Don't put balls in your mouth, baby. Who wants pizza? Right yes. here. You ungrateful bastards. What's with those pink pants, Malibu Barbie? <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody got a boyfriend. I got vibrators older than that child. We're not gonna make it to Christmas, are we? Not a damn chance. Get it to me. This is our first Christmas without your mother. Just five days for y'all to act like a family. You locked me out. You're melting out. Oh, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Let me try to get you out of here. It's not that kind of party. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Okay, folks, uh, we are here uh, back in this place reviewing another um, black comedy, uh, black movie, predominantly what's, what's, black what's with cast. All the blacks? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> how many times can this man say black? Hey, as long as it's relevant, it's going to come up, okay? Uh, not a bad word at all. Uh, it's a good word, okay? Um, but where I'm going with this is it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet because on one hand, love, love, love seeing our people on the big screen. Right. It's wonderful and it's a beautiful thing and we don't always get a chance to see people that look like us and so we love it. On the other hand though, in terms of the content, we get tired of seeing the same old ish. Right. We do more stuff than comedies. Um, you know, some of these same old stories, they just keep, you know, getting drug up and repackaged into something else. So what's yeah. going on with uh, Almost Christmas is that, right, Envision, and these are, I'm going to run, run off some really, really good movies for you. Um, this Christmas, Soul excellent. Food. Soul Food, Love and Basketball, um, uh, Best, Best Man. Man, Best Man Holiday. So imagine someone taking, like, trying to knock off or pull from different aspects of these really, really good films to try to put together their own film. It's like this, a mashup. That's kind of almost Christmas. Yeah, like a mashup yeah. of what almost Christmas feels like. It's almost like they went through a checklist to say, all right, we need a black church scene. Check. Uh, we need the baby of the family to be spoiled and, and be Precocious. getting into trouble. Yes. Check. We need uh, some marital infidelity. Uh, check. And it just really doesn't work. Instead of getting Gucci, you get Poochie. Okay. <laughs> and nobody wants Poochie. Nobody wants Poochie. All right. Um, Danny Glover plays Witterer Walter uh, Myers. And he attempts to bring his family together in the vein of some of the old time collectives that they used to put together yeah. back when his wife was still living. Yeah, everybody coming home for yeah. holidays. This is the first this is the first collection that they've been able to put together since his wife has passed and every family member has their own particular set of baggage that needs to be handled and dealt with mm -hmm. carefully, you know, in order for everybody to have a good time. Sure. Um I was initially reticent about seeing this film because it did seem like such a mashup of films that we had just recently seen. Um, but I have to say that there is a earnestness, mm -hmm. an earnest quality to the film and to all the performances in it uh, that seems to elevate it a little bit more than the tripe that it could have been. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of heart and soul that you do 
feel um, you know that is coming across on the screen it's not a cash grab and we've seen some other you know projects that you know Will Packer hasn't been involved in and stuff where well, we did feel that way yeah. that's not the case for this film overall it's competent um, in terms of production I thought it was you know it was solid um, Danny Glover who you mentioned you know is playing Walter um, he's a one First class, first class actor always, always. has been. Always. He could play this character in his sleep. Kev doesn't look a day past 70, man. <laughs> Danny Glover didn't look 70 for like 30 years. I know, right? <laughs> Riggs. Riggs. That's, right, that's, my, that's my Danny Glover impression. <laughs> I, that's all I got, y'all. Sorry. Uh, you know, hey, Monique. Monique is in this film. Back um, the dead. Yes, and she did not waste this second chance. I thought she did a really, really good job yeah. uh, in this film, Kev. This was, she, was uh, she was probably one of the standouts in terms of the cast. Um, 95% of the laughs that I got in the film uh, involved her scenes. Uh, so bravo to, um, you know, hats off to Monique. Now, I can't say the same for our boy J.B. Smooth. He was anything but smooth in this film. Came, real, came off real flat, Kev. Yeah, and really unbelievable as both a Lothario or ladies man yeah. and as a professional basketball player. Yeah. Just could not get that. At Maybe all. that's one of the problems. It just that that didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work. Yeah. Uh this film, you know, is fairly paint by numbers. I mean, hey, it is a Will Packer production. Normally I would tell you to fear the Fedora. Um <laughs> but he does a, a really good job of uh, packaging all this together. Uh, David E. Talbert does a pretty good job of filming it. You know, black people looking beautiful, gorgeous mm -hmm. on screen. Yes. We've commented about that in the past. Yeah. Okay. But Plus he does a good job. And yeah, that kind of stuff with too shiny and, and greasy yeah, it's and not all looking that, yeah. right. Right. He does a good job <laughs> of, of conveying us in a way that we want to see ourselves on the screen. No doubt. Good job. We also have uh, Omar Epps in this film. <laughs> I don't know what happened to our boy Epps. I love him very much, man. Solid, See, I know solid what happened actor. to him. He's been yeah. moonlighting as the head coach for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Is that what he, he's Mike Tomlin? He's Mike Tomlin. <laughs> okay. they, they do kind of favor. I think it's the eyes and the eyeballs or something like that. But not our nowhere near our best that we've seen of Omar Epps. He's no. he's like he's playing the character Quincy from Love and Basketball, just older and a lot of tired yeah it's much, like much more tired it's like he got the juice and then gave it up again <laughs> yes he gave the juice away <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know what's up with that man you know um hey you know every every time it back can't be a home run i guess i don't know what to yeah. say about that but definitely not his best work um, what do you say kev can we throw some points in this thing let's do it sir all right i'll take a first crack at it listen y'all Imitation never beats the real thing. I don't go for the diet drinks and the diet cake and, and all that stuff. No sugar. Look, if you want the real thing, get a, get a little taste of that and go sit down somewhere. Um, you want to see some good movies or something that's in this vein that's the real deal. The movies that I mentioned earlier, right? Go rent or, or get it on demand this Christmas. Yeah. Uh, or soul food or you know best man, best man holiday, mm -hmm. love and basketball. Wonderful, wonderful films right this film is just not that good it's not terrible but um you know for all the reasons that we mentioned it just kind of it almost gets there so right what do you give it i give it a six out of ten okay uh like ann said this is not the best but it's far from the worst we have seen worse and believe me this oh, yeah. is not it no um you know this is not going to make your christmas rotation your annual Christmas rotation of holiday movies that you'll watch from year to year to year but you know it's a nice diversion you know from you know from shopping or any other drama that you have to deal with um, you know be warned there is a bunch of salty yeah, language. Yeah, a little language. Little... There's some salty language in this film, but... Well, you're not going to have Monique in the movie and not be a little bit raunchy. Exactly. I mean, she, we've heard her do a whole lot worse, and so she not, she's not to that extreme. The film is rated PG-13. Yes. So, you know, but be aware of that. But it's heartfelt and earnest, so for that reason, I give it a 7 out of 10. All right. You got a 7 from Kev. You got a 6 from me. Ultimately, you decide. Uh, that is our show. Hey, be sure to check out our website, themoviebrothers.com. Lots of content out there. Mm -hmm. Lots of written reviews, things that we don't shoot episodes for. Follow us on Instagram.
Yes, or you can check us out, follow us on Twitter, mm -hmm. at The Movie Brothers as well. Uh, we will give you all types of information and background knowledge and info regarding films that are in production mm -hmm. or films that have just basically been uh, wrapped up and are in the can. That's what's up. All right, that's our show. We are The Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. This is the place, the one and only place where we bring you nothing but the real, real. on the real. Peace.